pussy ass. That's our brand. And you don't have to do anything about it. People will simply define you. And uh, as a leader, you need to influence people, you need to inspire people, to get people to do things. And this depends largely on your brand, on your personal leadership brand. When I was in secondary school many years back, uh, right in senior one, I joined groups of students who used to go out and drink and go to dance. And uh, it, it was cool for you to be able to, to, to escape in the dormitory at night. And so uh, you were a hero if you were the type who went out of school to drink and dance and, and uh, also show that you were well to do. Uh, the, the school I was in, a very large number of, of our students were from poor families. And uh, you know, you, have, you need to show them you had a bit of money. Uh, that was what I was then. And uh, some time back, about uh, 10 years back, 15 years back, I was traveling with a bank manager in a, in a, uh, on a plane. And uh, I was lamenting how banks uh, take time to give loans to, to, to clients. And this bank manager told me, no, no, we can give you a loan in two, three days. And indeed, they gave me a loan in two, three days' time. I didn't have an account. They opened an account for me, and the money hit the account. Amazing. So I asked her, how were you able to do this? And she said, oh, you, Professor, where are you going? We know you. You'll pay back the money. They gave me a whopping 300 million shillings to buy property. Uh, and that was a lesson to me about how the public felt about who I was. And uh, uh, subsequently, I believe there is something that uh, uh, people see me as, or, or, or my, my students, my, my colleagues, my family, there is a way in which they, they see me. And that is my leadership brand. So you as a leader, if you really want to have impact on the people that you lead, you must deliberately build a personal leadership brand. So that personal leadership brand is what distinguishes you from other people. It's what defines you. It tells the story of who you are. And if you really want to be more effective as a leader, it's important that you deliberately work on your personal leadership brand. So how do you do this? The number of things that you must put in place, uh, but first of all, who are you? You must know who you are. Who you are is your values, your character, the way you behave yourself your thoughts, this defines your personality. But that aside, if you really want to influence people as a leader, you must also be in a position to have a calling. What, what, what do you want to achieve? What are your goals? What is your mission? Uh, uh, we, we look at some of the iconic leaders the world has seen. Nelson Mandela, 27 years in jail, all because he wanted to end apartheid in South Africa. So he had a calling. It is that calling that made him stay in prison. It is that calling that to death we remember Nelson Mandela as a person who made effort to change the world. So if you really want to build your, a personal leadership brand, you must be in a position to know who you are, to know your calling. And it's that calling that's going to be the basis of your brand. So once you know this, then go out and establish who you want to influence. Leaders have followers in different things. Uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, who led India to independence, his followers were the Indians. And what, why did they follow him? Mahatma Gandhi wanted India to become independent from Britain. Having experienced challenges when he was in South Africa being thrown off a train, so he goes to India, goes back to India, and leads Indians to independence. You know? uh, so th that's how he was seen. Uh, people like Mother Teresa, they wanted to end poverty. Of course, you're not able to do so much. But whenever you talk about Mother Teresa, who is also known as the saint of the ghetto, you know that her purpose was to be able to remove poverty in, 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 in India. And uh, the audience was very clear. The audience were the poor people in India. So you must identify your target audience. Whom do you want to influence? And uh, as you live your dream, as you live your, your, your brand, 
you will see that you must spend some more time with these people so that you are able to leave the brand that you set out to leave right from the beginning. Once you've identified the audience, go out and build the relevant knowledge and skill that you need. As a leader, you must have the ability to manage conflict, you must have the ability to communicate, you must have emotional intelligence, and a variety of other skills. So get the knowledge and the skills so that you enhance your value as a leader. If you don't know stuff, you cannot do much about it. If you know how to manage conflict, then when you have people you lead, you will be in a position to resolve, manage, or create necessary conditions for harmony in the institution. Once you've done that, you've got the skills now, you must be able to uh, build a presence. Uh, how do people know who you are? At times we do this unconsciously. We go out to speak at functions, we go out to, to do certain things in society, we go and engage in, um, like Rotarians, go out to engage in social projects. So for you, as a leader who deliberately wants to build a brand, today we have social media. Go out and build your position on social media. And this could be Facebook, WhatsApp, this could be a blog or website. Uh, they are available for you to be able to project your image, project your brand uh, as a leader. And of course, you leave your brand. Leave your brand in terms of how do you actually exercise leadership? How do you lead? And this is where you find uh, concepts like emotional intelligence being extremely important in, uh, in ensuring that you leave your brand. Uh, look at things like the Johari window. All these are very important in enabling you to leave the brand that you set out to achieve. So you want to be an effective leader, build a personal leadership brand that's going to take you places.